Hi, my name is Jared Beeman. I'm an application specialist for a concrete segment. In this video, we'll be covering how to use the new CMU wall tool to cover the new functionalities, which are adding bond beam rows, vertical and horizontal reinforcement, as well as lintels above the openings. To place your wall, you'll click two points to identify the start and end of the wall. You can double click on the wall or the component to pull up the properties. You can load up an attribute out of the box for 8 inch units. Select the wall and hit modify to change the wall. In the first wall attributes tab you can select the wall height, the pattern, the offset, as well as the grout thickness and you can even add a custom block into the attributes profile. We've added in 4 inch units up to 12 inch units so you can load those up in the attributes tab and change the wall at any time. The tag blocks setting will add a unique user find attribute to the blocks that will identify if it's a quarter, a half, a three quarter, or a full block. The end conditions is not a new functionality, but to go over that again you can either add half blocks at the start, end, or on both ends. You can now add in bond beams with specified rows. In this example, they're set to be at 4, 8, and 12. So you can select what sort of bond beam block you need, whether it's an extruded profile or a custom shape item. So to, to change the location, all we need to do is type in the rows separated by commas. If I type in 5 and 10 and hit modify, it'll change those bond beam row locations. We can now add in horizontal reinforcement in the bond beams. You can select to add no reinforcement, one bar or two bars. You can select the spacing between the bars as well as the cover from the bottom of the block. You can even define the maximum length of the bar which would represent the stock length and the splice length. The cover is the distance from the end of the wall and the start of the wall. If we zoom in, we can take a look at where the splice is located. Go to the vertical rebar tab to add in vertical reinforcement. What you can control in this tab is the hook at the bottom with the hook length and depth below the wall. You can also control the offset from the start as well as the spacing. You can either type in a typical spacing value or you can type in exact spacing values. You can also control the maximum vertical length as well as the splice length. Previously you could add openings. Now we've added in a functionality that will add a lintel at the opening. First you'll select your wall and click the location of the opening. We'll rotate out in 3D to take a look at the opening that we placed. and You can see it added the lintel. Just like the CMU wall tools, you can either create a profile for the lintel or you can add an item. Here's some more information of where to download the tool, some other tips and techniques for concrete applications. And if you have any questions or would like a demonstration, please contact us at the email below.